Hello, today we're going to tie the floating mylar minnow. The hook I have in the vise is a three times long streamer hook made by TMC. For thread we're going to be using yellow, 140 denier, TMC. For materials, you'll need a strip of craft foam cut into an eighth inch strip and also I recommend you cutting a little wedge on the tip for tie-in. You'll also need some 3D eyes these are in 3 millimeter, some mylar cord with the center removed, and a clump of marabou, and some UV resin. First thing we're going to do is start our thread wraps right at the eye of the hook and run them all the way down to about the barb. Go ahead and cut off your tag. Next we're going to take our marabou and I don't want it as fluffy, so take a nice clump and you want it to be about the length of the hook shank. And to go ahead and tie that in. Make sure it's good and secure. Take your wedge you cut into your craft foam and use it to help you lash it down then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it over and do some nice open spiral wraps it'll help you secure your craft foam down and leave yourself about at least one hook eye length from the eye of the hook take your remaining strip and wrap it around and nice touching wraps until you reach the back. Take your thread and just run it down and helps secure it down nice. It doesn't have to look pretty. It's all going to get covered up. Just make sure it's secured well. Just kind of go over it then run your thread to the front of the hook. Take your mylar and if you have a frayed end like this go ahead and trim off your frayed end until you got a nice flat end like that. And what you want to do is measure it to a little bit, just a little bit longer than your hook shank. Go ahead and Keep that measurement, cut off your mylar, then place it over the eye of the hook like that, and just wrap down. Then take your thread and wrap it all the way to the back of the fly. Now the tricky part, you just kind of just give it a nice even gentle pressure and just force it back just like that and it's gonna fray that's okay we're gonna deal with that then just kinda just lash it down now you can fish it like this and it's fine but I like to trim out that little bit of fray go ahead and do a five turn whip finish then cut or break off your thread Take your scissors, if you want, and trim up some of this flash. Okay. Now, take your 3D eyes, these are in 3mm, and kind of just push them on best you can try to make them even as you can now take your UV resin make sure you coat your thread wraps all over the back
I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the torch. Harden it just a little bit. Then I'm going to turn this fly. And I'm going to coat the whole thing, and this helps a whole lot with the durability of this fly. She will not come apart on you. Head cement also works if you need to substitute UV resin. Hitting it with the torch. Make sure you get both sides well. And you have made the floating Mylar Minnow. I hope you like this video. I hope you'll like, comment, subscribe. Please tell your friends. This is a very, very awesome pattern for when fish are crushing bait fish on the surface. It also works really well fished under a sinking or sink tip line with about a six, about a four to six foot leader. And to strip it along, it has a very darty motion to it. Please don't forget to tell your friends. Please